every time I go flat, I can see the, the Venturi, jet yeah, wash yeah, in, cool. the, in the rear view mirror. Wow, you think it's scary from the driver's seat. <laughs> Hey folks, today's video is brought to you by Masterworks. You know, most art is kind of like most cars. Not collectible, not desirable, but nice to look at for a while. But then you've got your blue chip, right? The 60s Ferraris, the 70s Lamborghinis, the French stuff from the 30s. This is primo goods. That's like your Picasso, your Basquiat, your Warhol. And these premium blue chip collectibles are often way out of reach for regular folks like you and me, but not anymore. Now there's Masterworks, an innovative platform allowing everyone and anyone to invest in these blue chip pieces of artwork by buying shares. When Masterworks sells the paintings or the sculptures and makes money, you as a shareholder make money. They get, deliver big returns and just recently in some very public sales. Check it out for yourself by hitting the link in the description to see how you can invest in blue chip artwork on a big or a small budget. And thanks to Masterworks for sponsoring today's video. Morning, everybody. Welcome to a beautiful day in the canyons. It is warm up here. It's brilliant for driving. The roads are excellent today. And uh, Zach thought it was going to be cold. So sure did. So he's wearing a jacket. Welcome to the 765 LT Spider. It is uh, the Spider version of the incredible, probably too much for the road, 765 <laughs> LT Coupe. In this video, we're going to answer a couple of questions. Is the 765 LT Spider worth the price and weight premium versus the Coupe? Right. Is the 765 LT at all still too much car for basically anybody, myself included? And is this a major, major player in the ever popular half million dollar segment? And were you to have a half a million dollars, should you buy this one, one of these 765 copies available? Uh, compared to the LT Coupe, it weighs 108 pounds more. Compared to the 720 Spider, it weighs 176 pounds less. So they cut a lot of weight out of the Spider, but there's not much penalty for getting the Spider. In my opinion, you might as well just get the Spider. Yeah. Especially because this one has the optional electrochromic roof, which means when you press this button, the roof goes to clear, you press it again, the roof gets tinted. It's amazing. It goes, it's like in two seconds. It's, it's really you, cool. You control the brightness of the sun. Yeah. And, this, <laughs> and because the new roof is one piece where the 675 was two, so you had a bar. Yeah. You have more headroom, but you can also have this amazing, amazing roof. Yeah. And then when you want to put it down, you can put it down in just 11 seconds. It is pretty much so fast. It's as fast as you can want it to be, and you could do it at up to 30 miles an hour. Yeah. Right? So, boom, roof done, windows down. We're going top down today. Uh, same uh, amazing four liter twin turbo V8 as the LT Coupe. They say 755 horsepower at 7,500 and 590 torque uh, at 5,500. We all know that it's that's like what it makes at the wheels. Yeah. It's, it's way insane. more than that. This car has a terrifying amount of power but it's not just about the power just like in the in the uh, Porsche GT4 RS part of that performance upgrade comes from weight reduction part of that comes from the powerful engine but then there's the gearing yeah. this has 15% shorter gears than the 720 okay and which is ridiculous 15% quicker in gear acceleration than the 720 Spider. So you have zero to 60 and two seven. Advertised. Advertised. Mag like every magazine has beaten the advertised zero to 60 time in the other McLarens. So. Right. 10.0 in the quarter mile and zero to 124 in 7.2 seconds. Um, it is possible to get a bunch of stuff from the Senna in this car, including the HR Geiger seats, which Super seats. thankfully this one doesn't have actually, and the Senna brakes, which this one does have. This one has $18,000 Senna brakes on it. And they're, they're carbon, but, but the so other are the ones regular are carbon, ones, right? You're going from unbelievably good carbon ceramic brakes to better carbon ceramic brakes for $18,000. Um, the rear uh, wing 
has a spider specific uh, uh, active arrow calibration and that's because uh, the arrow changes a little bit mm -hmm. with this roof. Uh, you also get those amazing glass buttresses that give you better rear three-quarter visibility Legit when you're help. driving around. And the rear wing is 20% uh, larger yeah. than I think on the regular one and then it provides 25% more downforce overall compared to the 720S. Right. The doors on the Spider are a little bit different than the coupe. They're only hinged in one place instead of also from the roof and basically what that means is they open a little wider. It's a few inches wider on each side, which could make it a little trickier to park in certain situations, um, but that's the penalty you pay for the Spider. There's also new gearbox programming, which you can uh, hold in track mode, you can pre-select your downshift. So rather than trying to pull it and not having enough revs and not getting enough gears and it just going no, no, if you tug it in track mode, as soon as you have revs, it will automatically do it. Will it downshift like sequentially, like five, four, three, two? Yes, we'll it won't out. automatically give you the lowest gear available, but it will give you the next gear down when it has a chance, which is very, very cool stuff. The base price of this vehicle is $382,000. The one we are driving is $507,420. This thing has $120,000 <laughs> of options on it. This has a Cayman GT4 RS and options? Almost. Yeah. Most wow. of which are carbon fiber stuff, which to be perfectly honest, on a dark colored car like this, most of it you can't even see. You, re you really can't. There's a lot of <laughs> flare and the carbon is, yeah. is different than the carbon tub carbon. Right. Um, but there's just little things on the front fascia and the side vents and you know the lower door sills. Even here when the sill? I guess the sill, which is so yeah. high that's actually your shoulder. Like it's all dressed up yes. in very nice carbon. Um, like all McLarens, it's very comfortable once you're sitting in it. These seats are a little tricky to get in and out of, but once you're in here, comfortable. The Yeti fits in the cup holder. Uh, the the pilot house is really well designed. The cockpit and the visibility is excellent. Now Let's go make some noise. We will activate our panel. I like to leave the shocks in comfort. Of course. And I will put the powertrain in kill. The gauge pod oh, will fold so cool. down to inform me that I am indeed in kill. I have the nose lift uh, up because, so we can get off of this dirt here. Unfortunately, although we have the nose lift and they've made it easier to use than ever, the wheel has to be pointed perfectly straight. Which is a bummer, like the Lamborghini. Which is annoying. And I think the, Ma the Maserati MC20, you could have the wheel turn. And Porsche, you could yeah. do it whenever you want. Okay, so lowering, 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 lowering. I wish it went as fast the as top. the roof. Yeah, the top would win that race. So, launch mode active. Here we go. <laughs> Kind of cold. P uh, Pirelli right. Trofeo R's because of course. And for the record, we have traction control on. Fully on. Fully on. Everything's on, but leaving that gate there, still lots of wheel spin. Pretty much this car's charm is that it will blow the tires off right through the traction control. This is a hairy bitch of a car, not going to lie. Wait. It is a serious car for very serious drivers. Everything okay? Yep. Snap crack on the downshift. It sounds amazing. Like that quad exhaust in the back. This sounds so amazing. It's like being chased by Hayabusa's. And compared to a lot of, you know. Dude, that's wheel spin in fourth. Like a lot of twin turbo V8 cars, it, the turbos quiet them down a lot, but they've definitely found a way to turn the volume up a lot in this. It, it's, get, it's getting closer to that NA V8 sound. Oh, the brakes are good. They're still not warm. With these Senna brakes, you actually have to get some heat into them for maximum efficiency because they are built 
not as center brakes, but as track brakes, right? And that's probably the difference. Like carbon ceramics, that's how they all were for a while. You had to get heat in them. And then they've gotten better at their cold temperature. Uh, the heat Watching up. the air brake work behind you is amazing. You can see it. There's no escaping it in the rear view mirror. It's just really keeping the back end stable. <laughs> yeah, it's a true whale tail. This car is so banana. Steering razor, razor sharp. Perfect ratios, perfect feel. God, the shifts like, are invisible. I basically can't use full throttle. Like on this section here, and we're gonna go to the to the more open section, but full throttle is unavailable to me in this section. And that's half. Jeez. Like the so power bad. is so crazy, and we haven't even discussed the fact that the DIN weight, which is almost curb weight, the difference between DIN and curb is 90% fuel versus 100% fuel. It's under 3,100 pounds. Yeah, yeah. It's, three, it's called 3,000 pounds. 3,000 pounds with a, a retractable hardtop roof, stereo, air conditioning, <laughs> turbos. <laughs> It's so crazy! Manic. Manic. And we've chosen this road because it has both tight and open sections and some bumpiness that will accentuate the fact that McLaren's magic suspension still works even in the hardcore track version. The ride is still okay. It is. Dude, when I hit the gas right there, I got like a uh, Venturi effect in the back, like a cigarette boat. I could see the yeah. dust swirl. Yeah. Yump, here's a yump, ready? Maintains the little traction. Bit. It did. It wiggled a little bit, but the, the damping in this is so good. And they did change the damping a little bit compared to the coupe. Jeez. <laughs> and it actually has a little bit more toe out than the coupe as well. This is a sweaty palm. Very nuts ride, dude. This is probably the most intense car you can buy right now. Yeah, I mean, considering this is the same price as the Aventador, this is much more exhilarating. Way hairier. You gotta know what you're doing, or you are going to die. So, like, so you're gonna fast. like. That's just mental, isn't it? Race car. Speaking of race car, my coworker who rode a track, Travis Akulski, lapped a 765 coupe around Lime Rock faster than a Bruce McLaren Can Am car. Which a car had that was 1200 horsepower. Yeah. A car that was so fast they canceled the racing series because it was too dangerous. This thing has plates on it. And Travis, not not, <laughs> not Bruce, Bruce McLaren. McLaren, Travis Akulski went quicker, noticeably quicker. Dude, this is so crazy. G forces. All right, third gear, flat. That is so wild. I mean, the, it's not even like horsepower at that point. It's pure thrust. thrust. It's yeah. like a jet. Yeah. Like it, it threw me back into the seat from when I was fiddling. It is so raw. Every time I go flat, I can see the, the jet yeah. wash yeah, in, cool. the, in the rear view mirror. And that is insane. And what's awesome is if you want to have the top up, you can still put the window down and listen to the crazy jet sounds. We should do that on the way back. All right, check this out. Here's fourth full. Wheel spin. So much, that was wheel spin in fourth. It does wheel spin in fourth. That is bananas. Wheel spin in fourth with traction control on. 
Like it's not even in limited mode. It's full on. Jeez. That was fifth. That's crazy. So crazy. Travis. And, and they could, they could like dial that back to maximize traction and stuff. Like we know other cars that they, they meter out the power a little bit. But McLaren's like, no, 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 you want the LT? Yeah. We're giving you both doses of LT. What I love about this car, and it is absolutely unapologetic about what a psycho death machine it is. I mean, this this is like, this has got to be what it was like to drive, you know, like a Can-Am car. I mean, you, when, you, when you can wheel spin at a hundred or more, you know, that that is true, true bat shittery. You know, there's all these, there's all these companies out there making speed so accessible and so easy and so not scary. What I love about this is it's got the speed, but it's scary. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't turn down the knob and go, okay, we'll give you full power in seventh. Right. They're okay. like, no, no, no. We'll give you full power in third and you have to deal with it. Okay, Clapman, you're up. Should we go top up now? Yeah, let's go top up and see what, what the difference is. You want to is. do top up with back window down? Absolutely. Because that's one of my favorite features of these. For sure. Of these A12 supercars. GTS had this. The 720S has this. But, like, it is such a wonderful thing to know that you could drive in the rain but still listen to uh, your Back window your down. Jet, you can your still jet hear engine. engine. All right. We're still in track mode. Where's our e-brake button? I've driven oh, this car for off. one minute. Yeah, no, that, this is going to be a true first impression from uh, the Clapman. Where's the uh, what? Oh, mirror? Oh, here. This one. I mean, you know, the McLaren wheel has no buttons, which is very right. nice. I except like when you need to do something quickly and you're like, oh, they're all over here. <laughs> or, the, you know, the stocks are here. But once you yeah. learn what does what, No, it it's does fine. make sense once you figure it out. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It, there's, a, there's a bit of a learning curve, but the, yeah. the nose is not raised. Thank you. Read my mind. Oh, I feel like I'm getting like the good, the good frequencies from the back. <laughs> wow, you think it's scary from the driver's seat? No, the kidding, passenger son. seat is where it's scary. So much power and thrust. So much. <laughs> this, this is like, God, I think this is my favorite transmission in the world. It's very good. Because it's so smooth and so fast, but you, you and the, the, the tactile sensation on the paddle, like yeah. you feel the shift through it a little bit, just enough. Oh, it's so good. And you good. could go up and down with either hand. Uh, yeah, so right. You could have the it's coffee. It's like rally in, driving. Well, you could have the coffee in a hand in one hand and still be in manual transmission. Because it's one lever that goes across right, the, the wheel. Rocker. So it's you can genius. you can push forward on the up paddle and it downshifts. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. We're gonna. Oh, the air brake. The air yeah. brake is so rad. Go flat. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Isn't that hey, wild? Air brake. The, the damping in this is so impressive. Like, yeah. there, because there's so much like tire noise and wind noise coming through in the cabin. So you'd think it was going to be really stiff and bounce over everything. Right. But we've hit pretty sizable bumps in this car, and just like all the other McLarens, it just it soaks it up pretty well. It and finds it just moves a nice along. balance yeah. between road feel and not beating you up. Yeah. Like you feel the road, but the road doesn't dictate yeah. like what you're doing and which direction you're going. And so they changed a couple of things in this compared to the coupe. They widened the front track. They changed the toe. It's towed out a little bit more, which helps with like straight line stability. Person. And it's a it's supposed to be a little softer than the coupe. I don't Without know why. driving them back yeah. to back, I couldn't tell you. It's oh my god! There's so much occasion in this car. There's yeah. so much like pomp and circumstance, like. The whale tail kicking up in the back and the sound of the exhaust. It just, there's a lot of feeling and a lot of, like, God, tactile experience. And then you go over the dust and it shoots. It's <laughs> like, like it's a rocket not, lighting off. Right? Yeah. Like it's not, it's not digital. No, it's not. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, think of the fact that, like, the SF90, which is very fast and, like, 
you know, technologically advanced. Yeah. This is more exciting to drive. Oh, way. Way, way more. And yeah. it costs half. So it's really like a bargain. That's it's why bargain. there's so many SF90s uh, in DuPont Registry and so few of these. This is, yeah. A lot these of cars are, are getting less visceral and this is this is the remedy to that problem. Yeah. It's, it's oh my God. I can hear, because of the bare carbon fiber, I can hear when gravel gets kicked up. <laughs> oh, oh my. Every time you get, get close to the floorboard, my eyes just go like, Ah! Isn't that nuts? It is, and yet it feels composed. It it talks to me in a way that, like I know what it's gonna do. I don't like speed feels approachable, which it shouldn't when it's well, this it's fast. Well, it's approachable, but it's also you're never you're never unaware that that you could enter a corner crazy hot. Yes. Um, you need to be aware that like those the strong brakes are there for a reason to balance out the crazy power. Right. Wow, it is just such an amazing car. Uh, <laughs> and, and then the name, in 97 they modified a McLaren F1 GTR with a longer tail, more power, better aero, and it completely swept yeah. the FIA G like, championship that year. It just demolished all, uh, all adversaries. So, the, so that's where the name comes from. I like that you're trying to do history and you're basically unable to recall it. No, I just like, want to tell people that's where it comes from. It is, but I, this car requires your attention. Like a lot of cars <laughs> I could drive pretty quick and talk about history or something unrelated. With this, I'm like, no, 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 no. Man, McLaren knows how to do it. Ooh. They know how to do it. All right, I'm going to find a place to blow. We can conclude. I don't need to go all the way back. It's just, the steering is my favorite Pretty steering in cars today. It still is, because it's an electro-hydraulic system. It's a hydraulic system, but with electric power instead of a belt power. And also, and the, so good. the car is so light, you know, and because it's light and it's mid-engine, you don't need crazy wired, wide front tires. You know, the, the front tires are, I, I forget, they're 255s or something. They're, they're a reasonable width. And so that translates to good feel and not darting all over the road. Absolutely. You know? We've hit all kinds of cracks and bumps. There's no bumps here. There's nothing. Like, the, these cars are so comprehensive. Like, yeah. the 720, this one, everything is just even. So they add, you know, they add more rocket boosters, so they give you a little bit more brake. Yeah. And, and the, the sense of occasion and the sensation, like, it all works so that you're just talking to all the parts of the car really, really clearly. And with, with the mono cage... Uh, you know, carbon monocoque, right? Mono cage two in yep. this one. The roof isn't a structural member anyway. So although the components to raise and lower it add weight, you have no penalty of rigidity for having the convertible. Right, it wasn't compromised. when They designed it with this in mind and, and it's so strong. So you still have, I mean, it, it, they're, they're, you don't feel a bend anywhere. Yeah. There is no lack yeah. of rigidity or response in this. Like everything you touch and activate responds immediately. If I knew you were Gosh. going to keep going this far, I would have encouraged you to go quicker. Uh, we can pull up here. Oncoming, oncoming. Mm, oh, well, we that don't one. need nose lift for there. Uh, okay, well, sorry. just in case. Going up. It's going to tell you, yeah. It's oh. gonna, no, it'll, it, it just pauses it. It doesn't like... It's it not pauses like it the prevents, lift. Yeah, it pauses the lift. It's not like it prevents you from... It doesn't pause the car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to hear it collect all the gravel. As it do. So, to answer our questions, should you get the Spider versus the Coupe if you're shopping for an LT? 1,000%. Yeah. yeah. You're spending four to $500,000 anyway. The weight penalty is not noticeable by regular humans, and you can drive it with the top down. Yeah. So that's a yes. Yes. Should you buy the 765 LT versus a regular 720? How hardcore are you? How good are you? And how good of a driver are you? And, and how many track days do you really do? Right. Do you really do? On Even on this road, on almost any road, the, the 720 is so fast for most people. Mm -hmm. It'll be by far the fastest thing you've ever been in. And I've brought 720s. I brought a Comfort Spec 720 Spider to a track day and I was passing people like I had a cheat code. It was insanity. And so, and and that car, like this rides really well for what it is. For what it is. For what it is. 
But that car rides like a Rolls Royce. That car like, just rides really well. But, There's no qualifier. Right. Like it beat for a supercar. Right. And so if you actually wanted to do most of your driving on the street, if you actually wanted to use it as a regular car, as much of a regular car as a McLaren can be, and you can do that, mm -hmm. just get the regular one. Yeah, because when we drove up here, like, there's a lot more wind noise. There's right. a lot more tire noise. Like, you really hear. That's where you notice the weight savings. Yeah. And, yeah, it has a stereo, but we turned it up like you could barely hear the it's lyrics. It's not good. Stereo's not very good. <laughs> but there's a lot of noise intruding into the cabin. And right. the 720 doesn't have that problem. It just cruises. Right. And lastly, you know, do you need to spend $120,000 on options if you get one of these? No, you probably don't. I would get the lightweight wheels. I would get the electrochromic roof. Nine I'd get, grand. I'd get the battery tender. Yeah, the light wheels are like 10 grand. I would probably skip the Senna brakes unless I was really doing track day. $18,000 to go from carbon ceramic brakes to better carbon ceramic brakes is not really a good value. Yeah. And there's like $60,000 in carb exposed carbon fiber on this car. And it should be said, aesthetic carbon. Aesthetic it's carbon. Not, they don't add carbon to the existing body. Right. They just replace parts with carbon parts. Right. Uh, so, how much weight does it save? We have no idea, but that's a lot of money. Yes, and and unless you get the car in a lighter color, it's hard to see. This dark purple metallic that almost looks black some of the time, you really can't tell. Yeah, a lot in a lot of ways what the carbon is that you've paid for. So, not a great value in terms of those options. Having said that, if you're shopping for cars that are half a million dollars, you probably don't care. Like BK, have it your way. Get whatever you want. I can't hate. There's only 765 of these they're going to make. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but even at a half a million bucks, it's a good value. You, you cannot buy something brand new that is more aggressive, fast, sensationally yeah, rewarding fun. and fun you, you can't you can't beat it like when you drive this you that this is what makes you look at the Aventador when you drive it and go oh this is compromised right because even though they fixed the, the steering the understeer all those things a little bit you still notice it yeah this is perfect right and th you're just this is so much faster than anything else you can buy for this money and even for more money it's just like and it, and it doesn't trade that speed that speed for the engagement isn't lost yeah. to get the speed. It's old school. It's, it's light, engaging. It's AF. crazy powerful, <laughs> and it is engaging AF. Dude, so, this is this is engaging. Yeah. yeah. Oh so my thanks God. to McLaren for uh, letting us have a go. Thanks to uh, you guys for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. And remember, always fight your tickets. Use code TST10 on the Off the Record app available in the Android and iOS store. Or go to offtherecord.com slash TST.